First, you have to establish contrast. Again, it's transitional. You have light, dark, thick, thin, near, far, bright, dull. All these contrast elements are available to you in a painting. You have all of them. Or a piece of music or whatever. You have this, this contrast is there in some way. So after you, you establish contrast, then you try and have dramatic contrast. How do you take a line, for example, in contrast with something really thick? How do you place them? to increase the drama or the relationship between them where there's more energy in the work. How, how do you build that? After that, you have multiple dramatic contrast, which is the relationship between all the parts generating in their communication with each other more energy in the work. So if you look at great stuff, from sculpture to architecture to painting to whatever, you'll find multiple dramatic contrast in them. They can only release it. Load it loaded with stuff. From, from, from her posture being so feminine to a straight back and a formal masculine in control of the world look. I mean she, she's just she's, she's very rigid also but she's painted so soft and her hand is just limp. So you go from this intensely feminine hand to a, a, a really strict masculine posture. And you go from, from like her garment, which is soft and wavy, to a craggy background. What is she thinking? You have no idea. But she looks like it should be simple. Isn't she simply dressed? So you have a very complex emotional mood in a very simple looking woman. So, I mean, it's loaded with contrast, multiple dramatic contrast. So that gives it life. So for me also, it's true. I mean, I, I, I mean not to the level of, of a painting. I mean, I'm not a Leonardo, but I try from my level to put as much as possible into the painting so there is more for the viewer, for the reader, for the, the person receiving whatever it is that I'm trying to offer. It's a long time ago, I had, I had because I grew up in Tahoe, and so I was in the woods a lot. And for me, over and over, the perception came that I didn't have something unless I had something to give. So, no, so the concept of transferring, of, of making something transitional from me to someone else, transferring something, was essential because we can learn whatever we want. We can become enlightened. Great. Well, to, to whose advantage? If it's just to my advantage, it's selfish. It's not learning. It's not wisdom. It's not knowledge. It's just me taking from myself something from life that makes me think I'm special. Well, then you die, and so how special? I mean, really, what, what is the purpose? There's no, there's no, for me, there was no real point in that. If you can't, if you can't pass it on or transfer it in some way, then it has no real value. So whether or not my work has value, I, I mean, I don't know, certainly at the outset, but I know from my side, if it's going to have value, if I can put it in it, it's going to come from trying to find as many of these transitions to accomplish as much as much uh, energy, to place as much energy into a painting as I can, as much life as possible.